what is, I guess, in, in final, the next step here? Like, does this, because uh, right now, from what you're describing, you know, now, now some of the student athletes might get more computers and more uh, of that uh, material and maybe some scratch for an academic scholarship if there's money attached to it. But uh, outside of that, w- when do you think this might actually change the model of NCAA athletics? Well, so that's the short term just from this decision. But then keep in mind, come July 1, there are at least six states that will allow their college athletes to get paid for their name, image, and likeness from third parties. Uh, and then we expect more states to follow. So that that's going to, again, it's not going to be pay for play, but it is going to be potentially significant amounts of money going to college athletes. The NCAA is fighting that. So they're asking Congress to come in and block those state laws and give them an antitrust exemption. The Republicans in Congress have been more inclined to do both. They have been more inclined both to block the state laws and potentially to give them antitrust protection. But like almost everything else in Congress, there's no agreement. And so there's no law yet. And we don't know how that will end up. Um, So it could be that in three weeks, two weeks, there's name, image, and likeness payments. And then there's another lawsuit brought that challenges the whole system and says, look what the Supreme Court said. You cannot restrict us from getting compensation at all. You, the schools can pay us to play. They can pay us to transfer. They can pay us to do whatever they want. Um, and who knows what the next court would say to that, to say, well, wait a minute, that's beyond what the Supreme Court had in mind. Um, but I am, I am confident that there are many plaintiffs lawyers across the country that are drafting that complaint as we speak. So it's possible in two, two and a half weeks' time that the, the star quarterback for Florida, University of Florida, who's taken over for yep. Kyle Trask, whose name does, I don't have at the top of my head, could have a big fat contract for a local car dealership in Gainesville and nothing can happen, N- nothing could be done against I think that's that. likely, not only possible. I think that that deal is probably in the works, and I think there might be some national deals too. Thanks for the call, Gabe. Your star college quarterback or point guard or whoever it might be. Is in a state where this is legal, correct? Right. Right. Uh, Well, right. And the NCAA is planning to vote this week, maybe early next week, on what to allow the athletes to do in all those other states that don't have laws that go into effect yet. It looks like they're going to allow all college athletes to do it, not just those that are in states that have passed laws. So it is is probable that every every college athlete will be able to be paid for an endorsement deal, social media appearance, whatever else it might be, uh, come July 1. Come July 1. That is around the corner. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.